Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. So today I promised to go off to Savannah and um, do some crop toasts. So uh, let's get started with that shall we? So before we go flying away, <laughs> I'm not going to go flying, I'm going to go travelling, maybe by um, foot I think, we're going to build something. So here we've got an iron watering can from crop toasters. So let's build that one. The, we can easily upgrade that, that's no big deal, we'll just put it here and then we get a gold watering can. And then we can do the next one which is diamonds, we've got enough diamonds at the moment to a, f a diamond one. And the uses of this, there is one more and I think that's probably another right. Um, which we're not ready to do yet and I don't think there's any I think that's the top level so you can then simply fill this up with water like this and then you see it sort of changes a little icon over here we could come along all these crops ready to be harvested by the looks of it so let's just uh, do a few of these like that oh and there is something else you can do you can do fertilised farmland I've forgotten about that in fact I just came across it by accident. So you can then warp, let's for example, can then water these. I think we just use the right button like that. And <laughs> you see, it immediately grows everything, uh, or just about everything. Then you just fill it up again. So now, what did I say I wanted to do? Oh, yes, I wanted to make a book. So let's make a book um, with the crop toasted stuff. Uh, there's two manuals, the Tech Reborn manual, the rest, recipe for this one is basically one refined iron and the book gives you this. It's actually not very useful, all it does is actually point you to the wiki. So you can uh, open <laughs> open the wiki online and want to refund or join the Discord channel, that's it. So <laughs> it basically just points you off to the wiki. Um, but we can. But there is a more useful manual and that's the one from Crop Ptosis. And it's basically three of any of Crop Ptosis vegetables will produce a croptopia and this does have useful information in it you can right click it here like that and you can see we've done some bits already like crops um, unlock process plants break plants from various grasses and with a hoe and you get crops we're using our oh that's a good point actually i'm going to check i've got it in fact we're going to use a, a crook the ruby crooks is probably as good as anywhere let's have a look what other crooks we've got in here Because at the moment the ruby crook was fit 750. I could do a sapphire crook or a peridot crook. Another quartz, we can't do that. Well, we, no, we can't do that. We're actually waiting to go to another. That's probably something that we need to do. What was this one? Another right crook. Okay, well, that's not surprising. And a diamond crook. Well, let's make a another one. Let's make a sapphire crook. So for that, all we need is um, two pieces. It's two, four sticks, basically. So that's four sticks. Is, half a plank of the logs. Have I got any planks here? No, I don't have any planks here. In fact, I might have some sticks around. But anyway, we'll just do this one. So, craft that into four logs, make some sticks out of it. Sticks are not going to be unuseful for us anyway, so, you know, torches. Oh. I've actually got some planks already made. So we can make a crook like this. And then we just need a sapphire and that one. I think it's just one sapphire we need. We've got 64 plus 19. So we've got enough sapphires at the moment. Try that again. <laughs> and I think all you have to do is put the crook. Oh, it might be in a smithing table. Let's have a look at the recipe for this one. Yes, it's in the smithing table. I haven't got the smithing table here. So that's just two pieces of iron and four pieces of wood. Let's just do that quickly. Iron is always a problem in uh, <laughs> it's always a problem doesn't matter what I do with iron I've got a load of vegetables let's get rid of these after crop after doing those crops got some pineapples I want the arrows don't want those to be dropped off potato seeds oh seeds aren't very useful there I need some food anyway let's put that into there bread for when we go traveling and peanuts um, best one probably is maybe sandwiches aren't actually that useful because they don't give you any vegetable stuff they just give you a lot of replenishment baked potatoes is probably as good as any uh, I've got peanut and peanut butter and jam sandwich will do I've probably got something in here already and I don't need the watering can let's just put the watering can down here let's get rid of the seeds so they can go up here like that 
So I need to go and make a smoothing table too. Right, okay, I can do that, no problem. It's actually coming up to night time. I'll have a quick sleep um, in a few seconds when we've actually done this. The, the smoothing table I had is actually down in the village. Let's just put it down here somewhere. Here probably is a good place to any. So we can put the crook and the sapphire in here and get a sapphire crook. So that's got a thousand. We could, of course, enchant it. I'm sure they're enchantable. Uh, I'm not going to do that. They most likely get breaking. Maybe you get fortune on it. Let's have a quick... Let's see if it is possible to do it. Indeed it is. So you can get an efficiency. So you get an efficiency for enchant with that. I'm not quite sure. You'd really want an unbreaking enchant on it, if anything, anyway. So, I'll see you in a few seconds when it's daytime. So there are some more things I'd like to build from Croptosis. Let's have a look. We've got a pest of mortar just to stick in a bowl. That's no big deal. And we've also got a all-purpose food press. So that's two pistons and hopper. Not not exactly uh, difficult, demanding. And first, let's have a look at what we've actually got for Croptosis. So we have all of these items in here. So the ones which are basically useful items are the ones down the bottom here with these different saucepans and farming land. Yes, I wanted to show you how to do that fertilized farming land. I'm going to put these things away in here for the time being. I don't need them for the time being. Um, they do take damage and gems. So all you need to do is take some, for example, some appetite or, or possibly also potash. Definitely, up. and then we just right click some farmland with it. So here you see that one's f f already prepared. Um, let's just do this one, and you'll see it changes colour and it gets these sort of particle effects. And this one here, let's, I'm not sure it works on potash, we'll try it. Indeed, it does. So you can use either of those to make these, and then things, of course, will grow faster. Uh, I'm not really into farming at the moment, but I do need to be because I would like to do some tech reborn uh, stuff for that. Let's get up in here and have a look at this. Oh yes, very good trick. Again, this is actually tech report. So these ones we've looked at before. Sulfur plus an empty cell will give you a sulfur cell. But clay plus an empty cell, so eight clay plus five empty cells will give you a silicon plate. So what we can, let's do that first of all. That's in the uh, electrolyzer. Right? No, that's actually in the blast furnace. Indeed it is. So you can put, um, where was it now? I I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Recipe. Oh yes, it's these silicon, silicon cells. You need to put silicon cells into there. That's right. I knew it was something to do with the blast furnace. This was just, this was just to put some clay in and got, went out and got some clay to get this clay dust. And then we can put in here I've got clay dust in here already and I put some empty cells in here and that those two combined should give me a li well actually let's look at the recipe for it because it might be easiest look the uses for this one uh, so in the industrial electrolyzer five empty cells plus eight will give one lithium cell two silicon uh, cells and two sodium cells and two aluminium dust sodium cells and lithium dust are very late are important later on for the time being I would like to do this one so from that we get our two, uh, where have they gone to? I think I, should, I haven't used them all up. Unfortunately I sorted this, didn't help me very much. Let's have a quick look. Oh, ah yes, it doesn't work does it? I need to put in silicon cells. Oh, silicon cells are there. I need to put in empty tubes. Do I not have any empty tubes with me? Well, I've got some here. Let's take those um, and let's shove those into the just to be just to go through the whole process because the, the, the bit that's really interesting is the next bit. So let's push, push those into their silicon cells. They will then process, as you can see, and produce another silicon plate into empty cells. Um, so we can take these out of here. So we've got six silicon plates, and the uses of those obviously you can make this transistor, which is from modern industrialization not what we need at the moment uh, but the assembly machine from Tech Reborn so from that we can make these energy crystals 
we can make electronic plates so that's just two pieces of copper no rubber involved I'm not 100% sure that that's great saving but this one might probably is so two electron plates and a silicon plate will, in there will make an advanced circuit this one is very important this one here is quite difficult 32 uh, so you need a stack of redstone plus two diamonds will give two of these synthetic energies redstone circuits in the chemical reactor okay we could actually do that we have actually got enough to do that I think I've got a stack of redstone down here well almost a stack in there and I've certainly got enough dust in here so one more of those would do and then we need two diamonds so look how we're doing for diamonds four so we've got those bits now so let's just go over to the chemical reactor I think that's this one in here isn't it yes indeed so I just need to make some oops and just put those and those into that and that can start up uh, while we just convert this one to dust there we go so I don't know how long that's going to take and then we should get two of these so we can then take one of these and put that in here now The assembly machine so I've see I've got 16 couple plates in there they were actually prepared to make one of these but we'll do the other one for the time being um, the problem here of course is I've got too many <laughs> I, I didn't set it up correctly well I did but it's an empty cell so I'll put some more empty cells into that one I can't oh, interesting let's put those until they get taken out so I've got three wait for some more and then we'll put those through as well um, silicon cells as you see I've got two of those so I can shove, it, shove these these into the blast furnace I've got eight of those that will make another four plates so that's pretty cheap but the rest of it isn't where's, the, where's that thing gone to over here so what, I'm wasting a little bit of time here Look, see we've got our first synthetic redstone crystal so we need two of those while that's doing that let's make the next bit and it's here so what I want to do is to make a, a back an iron backpack so the first we're going to make is a leather backpack you only need one of these leather straps like that you put but we do need 11 of these I've actually see I've got 22 here prepared let's just do it like this and put those 11 back in here we need 11 basic coils there's an advanced coil as well which is for the tiers they've got uh, how many tiers have they got in there we put five of those in here like that in the middle of this we should get these wooden energy cells like that we want that one back again because we need that for the next machine and then we put three of these in here like this and that produce the wood capacitor i haven't really gone through that bit for this have I? but the rest of these ones are here and this needs one of these wood capacitors at the top i think these are for the jet no, that'll be for the jetpack. So this will be this one. I'll try that again. And it'll we need two batteries in the middle. And then we get these two wooden thrusters. All the recipes for this are the same. So if we look for the use of that, we can then make our um, wood jetpack. And then we can use this one. To make an iron jetpack or a copper jetpack now there's not very much difference between these two these have got 100k of energy and oh, this one's got 200k 250 and the uses of that one you can then reuse this one into different places here the way you can make silver iron or bronze jetpacks so that's 800 power this is 800 power and this one's 1 1.2 for silver now actually we have a reasonable amount of silver and we're not using too much up at the moment um it's actually night time i'll be back in a second when i've prepared the ingredients for the for the next level up i'll still prepare a stone one i think so i'll see you in a few seconds right i've got the stuff prepared so we can make this you see i've got two stone thrusters exactly the same recipe as the previous one uh something didn't go in there what didn't go in the middle of that that one oh yes there we go so we can then charge this up. While that's charging up, we'll have a look at the rest of this stuff. Let's put that into there. Indeed, it is charging here, which is great. So we do have a hover mode. So let's have a look over here. 
So we've now got uh, plates, yes, that's right. Uh, no, the ones I was going to look at was the assembly machine, wasn't it? To get the crystal. <laughs> it's a bit of an obstacle course at the moment in here, and that will have gone at the top. Oh, no, it won't, because I forgot what I was doing. I needed from the chemical reactor this one, these two, didn't I? Synthetic redstone crystal. Very expensive, these synthetic redstone signals. Uh, let's put those two in here. And now we get this, and that's actually going fairly fast. I'll be back in a second. There's a few visitors I don't want. So we have this energy crystal. So let's take that out of here. And then that's basically all, everything done. And the thing should now be charged up. Let's have a look. Not quite charged up. Let's just, I'll just tidy my inventory and I'll be back in a second. Right. One thing, last thing. These iron to wood upgrades. I thought you had to just do one particular chest. For example, if you could try to do, if you've got one of these here like this, and you try to do this chest, you upgrade it by shift right clicking it, nothing happens. But if you put, which, which basically means I was taking the chests and splitting them up and then putting uh, upgrading each one. But if I do okay. two, it does both like that. So you get all this extra space. You, you lose the sort tab, but that's not too bad. So as you can see, we have a reasonable amount of stuff. Uh, maybe I'll take a golden... No, maybe I need some fruit. Tacos are actually pretty good for this. Um, crispy tacos. I should have a look at those at some other stage as well. We just need some uh, of this. So we've got three of those. How many have I got in here? 17. So we can make, uh, I think... 17 will make... A, we've probably got enough, yes. So just put those two together and we should get some dough. In fact, we want six. Let's just take out two of those. Like that. And then we get six dough. Take those out. And then, of course, that would give us back to seeds. <coughs> and then you can use the uses of this one, for example. You can cook it. Now, there actually is another use that it's not telling you about it. But we'll come to that another time, I think. So we'll just put those into there like that. And those will cook into that. And then we can just combine these together. And we get a protein, um, crunchy one. We get a protein. Let's put those together, I think. Hopefully they go together. I'm not 100% sure. I think about it. Yes, we do. I get a crunchy taco. Which is good for carbohydrates. It's got a reason. It's got good. It's good for travelling, this particular one. Let's just come up here. The other tacos is a taco craft mod. We'll have a look at that some other stage. Let's put those into that. That. I've got a few extra bits I don't want with me, so I'll just put those back. We'll take the manual with us just in case. So I don't want this energy crystal. I don't want these plates. I don't want this extra clay. I do want these just in case. Food. And that's probably about it, actually. Let's just put... What did I want to put around? to put the book away, didn't I? No, clay. Clay goes down here. So as you can see... I went and I did a hunt for clay and I got a reasonable amount. This is clay dust. So take those out of there and put those into here. Uh, actually where it belongs. Because these are Tetra Born items. Right. So now. We should have. Oh, jackpot. was the only thing I needed, wasn't it? Let's take this with us. Um, I'm not sure what the code for it is. We'll have a quick check. Options, controls, and the iron jetpacks will be one of these. I haven't turned off my waypoints either. So we have descend, hover is G, and jetpot is V. Normally this one's just a shift for descending. If it isn't, then we'll, we'll just use that one. V might be a conflict. I'm not 100% sure. Let's, see. Let's put it on and see if it actually works. Okay, press V. Oh yeah, it's on and it's off. Right, I'm off and I shall see you in a few minutes. No, before I go, let's get one more thing done. Um, I need to go back to my, let's just check this out. So protein is actually, and carbohydrates are things I need. Okay, good. Sorry, a slight distraction. I wanted to go back and open my backpack and I want this biome loco lo locator. And I want to put Savannah in here. So there's different types of uh, savanna. The savanna plateau, uh, bio back. Oh, quite a few. Let's go to this one here and let's search for that one. And it says it's not too far away. It's 900 blocks. And then this is pointing 
this way it looks like yes so it's that direction I think that S means Savannah <laughs> I think I actually took the coordinates and actually put it as a thing so I'll see in a few seconds well we know what that is don't we <laughs> so I'm not doing that one at the moment so this should be Savannah yeah, it is good so we can start breaking seeds in here I've got to, I've got enough space because uh, I brought these extra bits we'll just finish off this ruby crook first of all it hasn't got fortune on it which is a shame but it acts like it's got fortune on it anyway so and what we should find here is some seeds that we can't get to else well elsewhere um, lots of oh, I'm using the wrong tool that doesn't help <laughs> Don't know how I did that Have I got anything interesting yet? So look, I'm, yes, I have, because I'm thinking, see, floating around here. So I've got some turmeric seeds. We come, and we've also got some leek seeds. I haven't got those yet. Um, corn seeds. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put down one of these here. I'll put that, put that into my middle slot by pressing five, like, like that, and then I can put it down. And then I'll pick up everything else. And what I don't want with me at the moment is probably don't want this sand. Probably keep the salt and the eggs out of here. And I've got a cobblestone from somewhere or other. Um, we'll keep the seeds with us because that's what we're working on at the moment let's have a look in, in here I've still got some fruit cranberries in there so I can put some more cranberries in there so that's good and that makes another slot and then just pick this up again like that and then carry on breaking now what I'm going to do is include in this video where you get different seeds from um, there's a I think there's about seven different varieties. Let me have a look. In fact, I'll have a quick look and just double check what we've actually got in here. You can see I've already got seeds floating around, so I've already picked up enough seeds in here. So we've got some olive seeds, that's very good. Hop seeds, leek seeds, that was turmeric, uh, zucchini seeds, and kiwi seeds, and ginger seeds, and what else? Squash seeds. I'll be back in a second. I just want to quickly check what seeds we can get from the uh, Savannah biome. <laughs> There's Enderman around here somewhere. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. I'm just going to have a quick go at him because it's always useful to do that. You never know. Yep, I got the Ender Pearl too. In fact, that's great because I've got Fortune in here. And I've also got being auto fed from this cooler, so that's good. It's night time. I'll be back in a second with the list of seeds. So there's 10 different types of seeds you can get from from a savannah. And I think I've probably got all of them now. Let's just have a quick look. So we've got one, two, three. Well, actually, it's nine in a row plus one. So that means I've definitely got 10. Let's put these into here like this. Kiwi and leek seeds. So we've got all of the ones from here. From the, um, from the swamp, there's the five different types of seeds we can get there so let's just um, I'm not exactly sure which ones they are but let's have a quick look I'm just, having a, <laughs> I'm just having a look at my text file and I've got to count them up so you can get artichoke seeds asparagus seeds cranberry seed and a currant seed so I've now got to go and find a swamp let's go and do that let's take this with us and let's have a look at the biome I was using the I was using the umbrella to travel around a bit a little bit just to drop down this heights. So we want swamp. If I spell it, <laughs> if I spell it correctly, so we've got lush swamps and swamps. Let's just start with this one and then search for it. So 921 blocks away. So what I do for this is I want to put it in. Let's put it in by doing a a point. Let's add it in. Let's put in swamp. I can start having difficulty spelling again. <clears throat> right, so it is at 15, 1, 5, 40. Doesn't matter about the, that one so much. And this is 5, 6, 4. 5, 6, 4. Again, having difficulty typing. We're going to call this swamp. We'll give it a color. Uh, white. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Let's confirm that. So where is that now on my map? It should be over this direction. 
so I can see a blue swamp straight ahead. Right, I'll see you when I'm there. Well, I'm actually, I'm not far away now, 300 blocks away. But I've obviously discovered another village in my process. Oh, I didn't do one thing. I haven't shown you one thing, which I meant to do. Let's get out here. It's getting a bit difficult to get through that. So let's have a look. I'm not going to do the village today, but I'm going to make a note of where it is. Um, what type of village is this? Looks like it's a, a river village. I'm going to carry on anyway, and I'll see when I get to the, to the uh, swamp plant. Well, as you can see, there's a battle tower there as well. Uh, we would, would be safe enough not having to worry about that too much. Swamp land, that's what I'm looking here is for grass and whatever else. Picking up a few bits and pieces when I'm coming here. Ah, oh, yes, here we are. There's plenty of grass. So let's just get out of the boat and then break some of this with the hook, with the crook, see what we get. If we get anything we need, there's one, two seeds. This is just a process. Something we have just to go through. I don't think it applies to those. Anything that's not in swamp land. I'm actually not having so much luck here by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Oh yes, I've got an asparagus seed, that's good. In fact, it's night time, so I'm going to carry on here and I'm going to basically call it reeds. I'm going to call it a day. Um, so there we are, that's it for this episode. I'm going to carry on here, get the rest of the seeds that we need, and I'm going to go back to base and I'll meet you there next episode. Until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.